As recently as the mid-1990s, Bessicar was still very much an independent manufacturer in its own right. Its speciality was building high-end caravans for customers with deep pockets, and its name was mentioned in the same reverential hushed tones as reserved for the likes of Buccaneer and Van Royce. But then the bad days came a-calling. Van Royce succumbed to its wounds almost immediately, and Buccaneer was snapped up by Explorer Group. As for Bessicar, it was sold off to Swift Group, which almost immediately began manufacturing motorhomes under its prestigious new moniker. The motorhome we have here today is the very latest of the breed. It's called the 496 High Style, and it's a special edition built by Swift for Loudhams here in the Midlands. It claims to offer an, an enticing blend of Swift common sense with Bessicar design flair. The question is, has it pulled it off? You enter the 496 straight into this spacious and welcoming forward lounge area, and straight away it's easy to see the benefits that this particular layout offers. This Pullman area, for instance, offers four fully belted travel seats. It's also a very good dining area. The city opposite is a good size too, it can certainly take a couple of full-sized adults, although it does seem a little strange that the passenger cab seat doesn't actually swivel. And as you'd expect, this area does convert into a good sized double bed. Simply pull out some slats from beneath the settee opposite, flip a few cushions and you've got a good sized bed downstairs. A downstairs bed? Well, yes, this area has a little secret up its sleeve. Because this is not actually a ceiling, it's the bottom of the drop down bed. You simply put a key into the isolator, press a button and hey presto, a full sized fixed double bed swings down from the roof at pretty good speed. So much for the front lounge then, but check this out. The 496 is the only model in the current Bessicar range to have this full-sized U-shaped rear lounge, and it really is a whopper. It comes with its own speakers and sunroof too, and the near side settee is pretty much big enough to serve as a single bed, as long as you're not much taller than six foot. The double bed though, well that is huge as well, and it's a doddle to make up. You simply pull out some slats from here, flip some cushions, and Bob's your uncle. In truth, there's a slight whiff of compromise about the Bessicar 496's side kitchen. That enormous end lounge really does encroach on its floor space somewhat. That said, it does just about pass the all-important cereal box test, and this handy flap here opens up much needed additional worktop space. It's well equipped in here too. The full cooker has a separate oven and grill and a dual fuel hob. It has a fitted microwave oven too, together with this handy electric extractor fan to get rid of all those whiffy cooking smells. The fridge is a good size too. It doesn't have a separate freezer, but it's good in capacity and it's actually well lit in there too. In truth, there's no such thing as a truly perfect motorhome. There's usually an Achilles heel somewhere. And in the case of the Bessicar 496 High Style, it's right here in the washroom. If you were hoping to find a fully lined separate shower, then I'm afraid you're out of luck. It's an all-in-one affair. This bifold door here makes a decent fist of trying to keep the toilet dry while you're showering. But the truth of the matter is, if you have a shower in here, everything is going to get very wet indeed. And this shower tray is very small as well. On the plus side, it is very well lit in here, and storage is well above average. We're quite fond of this dual roll tap as well. It has a handy trigger function, and also serves as the shower head. A great deal of this motorhome's special equipment lives here, in the cab area. The factory radio, for instance, has been replaced by this nifty little pod here, which comprises a DAB radio, CD player, touchscreen sat-nav, and even Bluetooth phone connection. You also get air conditioning and cruise control as standard, together with the usual brace of airbags for both passenger and driver. And as you'd expect, it's a very good motorhome to drive. Power comes from Fiat's proven 130 multi-jet diesel engine, allied to a slick shifting six-speed manual gearbox, although you can upgrade to the Comfortmatic Auto at an additional cost if you want. There is one slight quirk in here though that we're not quite sure about. This dashboard trim seems a bit mix and match to us. Fake aluminium on the outside, fake wood in the middle. 
Come on Swift, make up your mind. The whole point of a special edition motorhome is to offer the customer more for less. And on that front, the Besser Car 496 High Style really does hit the spot. A standard model will set you back not far short of £51,000. But this one, with all the kit on board, is just £1,000 more. By any stretch of the imagination, that's very good value for money indeed. There are a few drawbacks. The kitchen and washroom in particular have their little flaws. And it does work best as a full bertha than a full-blown six bertha. But the bottom line really is this. It's a motorhome that growing families really cannot afford to overlook.